and today the assistive device that I'm going to be talking about is a do-it-yourself zipper aid using a keychain ring like this one here okay so this ring can be put on anything that has zippers on your clothing so like on a jacket on your like pants zipper like on boots on a lunchbox or purse anything that has a zipper on it and it can Okay, so dressing is an ADL, and this can affect someone's occupational performance because people that have decreased grip strength, their hand strength, their like pinch strength in their fingers, like as a result of like a hand injury or you know Parkinson's disease, if they have tremors or like a CVA, anything that causes weakness in their hands and they can't manipulate fasteners and zippers and things like that, you like you can have the built up. Zipper, <laughs> zipper Zippery. pull. Yeah, so, to, so they don't have to like use their fingers to like pull up the zipper. They have the key ring and it can be, it's a bigger movement, like your hand movement to bring it up and down like this on the zipper. Okay. Action. Okay, hi Josh. So when you go home, to continue to increase your independence with ADLs and dressing and stuff, uh, we have the zipper pull on all your jackets and things that have zippers on it so you can use it. So the way that you use it, since you have decreased pinch strength in your hands, is you can just put your thumb through the loop and then pull it up like that. Now, can you show me how to do it? <laughs> there you go. Okay. I'm stuck. All right. There you go. And that's how you use that. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to demonstrate getting dressed and using the zipper pull on different pieces of clothing. So, as you can see here, I have it on my pants, the zipper. So, I put my thumb through, pull it up, and then I can just put it around the button. Like that, so I don't, don't even have to button my pants. I mean, I just cover it up. And it's like that, okay? I also have it on my boot. Oh, actually I don't. <laughs> okay, now I also have the zipper pull on my boot here. So I put my thumb through it and I can pull it up. Voila! Okay. Okay, so I'm packing my lunch here. And then I have the zipper pull on this that I can use to close it. So I put my hand through it. I got it on there. Okay, I've also added the keyring zipper aid to this jacket here, so I can put my thumb through it and bring it up like this. And the reason this is good for people with decreased pinch and grip strength is because when you use a zipper, you have to use your fingers together to up like this, but it can be difficult for someone that doesn't have the, enough strength to do that. So with the zipper aid, with this zipper pull with the keyring, you can just have your finger, you can put any finger through it. And like, and then you just need the strength in your hand to like get it up. You don't have to use the like intrinsic muscles in your hand to do it. Okay, so this device is beneficial for people that have decreased pinch strength, but there are some safety concerns with it as well. Um, well, one of them is just the ease of use of getting it on initially onto the zipper. Like the client will probably need somebody's assistance to put it on their zippers for them initially because it actually does require a lot of hand strength to get it on the zipper because you, you have to like pull it open like get it make it go all the way around like hold both of them and like bring it around so it's kind of hard to get it initially on but then once it's on then it can be used by the client so there's that um it can also be i guess over extended use of it might cause a blister on your hand or something and also it can also get caught on things as you're walking by because it is an open loop so it could get caught on like other clothing 
or something like that. And okay, well, the cost of this item is fairly inexpensive. You can find them at um, the dollar store or Walmart or Target or really anywhere for about a dollar for a pack of them. Or you can even find them lying around your house. Like I just took mine off my key rings because I had a lot of them. So that's that.